the guy that Brian Callum was defending, um, the head of the Spanish FA, um, Luis Rubles, Rubilas, or Rubilas, I don't even pronounce his name, is in a bit of a sticky situation. It's been a funny, funny, funny thing to fucking notice. I'm not going to lie. Because I think Brian Callan might be the only person I think in Western media I've seen defend him. Because he's getting some defence in Spain. Because, you know, certain countries, um, certain regions of the world just haven't really adopted the whole council culture sort of thing as much as probably other parts of the world have. Um, Me Too, council culture, that stuff hasn't really hit parts of Europe, in other parts of Europe as it has maybe in other parts of the world. So in Spain, he's getting a lot of defence. But in general, I've not heard anybody else in Western media defend Luis Rubilas the way that Brian Callan has. No one else has done it. So interesting update from this last time I said this. Um, one headline here, courtesy of BBC. Spanish Football Federation will take legal action over Je- uh, Jennifer Hermoso lies. So you've heard that correctly. The Spanish FA is planning to sue the girl who got sexually assaulted. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of the time when Brian Callan decided it was a good idea to try and sue the husband of his rape accuser because he was damaging his um what you call it he was tarnishing his name defamation or whatever and also i think he was calling up comedy clubs allegedly and trying to get his gigs cancelled and obviously callan you know comedians you know the only thing they give a shit about is their fucking gigs and their bookings so he went crazy he wasn't having that so he allegedly filed a lawsuit against them and i think he dropped it in the end but this is given that same sort of energy so this is the first bit of the update that was kind of crazy to kind of see so let's quickly read the update it says um uh luis rubias has refused to resign that's one thing as well as an update he's refusing to resign um, after kissing for jennifer hermoso a uh, jenny hermoso and lips following spain's world cup final win over england hermoso said on friday she did not consent but the federation has questioned her version of events the evidence is conclusive Mr. president has not lied in a statement by players union we represent for, for, for the very free old hermoso she is quoted saying in no case did i seek to raise the rep to raise lift the president while they embrace on the podium um the uh, the president will also sorry will demonstrate each of the lies that are spread either by someone or behalf of the player um the rfef uh and the president give the seriousness of the content to the press release from the foot pro union will initiate their corresponding legal actions the federation also said that it selected um, if selected players have an obligation to play for national team after 81 female players said they would not represent spain after rubles was removed from his post so the spanish women's football players are really standing on business right they're basically saying hey our colleague our team teammate got assaulted by the spanish fa the spanish fa aren't doing what's right so we're going to refute but they're basically going on strike and say hey we're not going to represent our country again or play in any sanctioned game until this guy has been removed from his post right and he's just refusing to fucking move which is interesting to see and obviously the spanish fa are backing him but then another part of it is incredibly hilarious right they've got this update here spanish football federation regional presidents call for resignation so some people are calling for resignation but the funniest bit of it is this update which i just saw today this is the biggest update for me which is hilarious look at that headline the mother of the spanish soccer chief starts hunger strike as cool's mouth his resignation <laughs> this guy got his fucking mum involved right and now this poor fucking lady is deciding to go on hunger strike in an effort to defend her son's honor if you wanted an example of just how different other regions of the world are when they address these sort of counterculture me too things this is one of the good examples of it this is one of the good examples of it i swear to god because in no other part of the world maybe there's other parts of the world but you wouldn't find this in america right no 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 fucking you know kevin spacey's mom didn't come out and say she's gonna go on fucking hunger strike you know uh, harvey weinstein's mom's probably long and long and dead by now because of how old he is but you wouldn't see it happening in any other part of the western world but anyways let's read the article the mother of spanish football federation president is under fire for kissing woman's world cup champion on the lips dying it has started a hunger strike on monday in defense of her son as calls growth for his resignation the leaders of the regional soccer bodies that make up spanish federation added their call for so uh added their call for soccer chief Luis Robles' recognition on Monday. FIFA, the world soccer body, had already provisionally suspended him for 90 days after he gave a defiant speech refusing to step down. The scandal surrounding the kiss um, has overshadowed the Spain's team 1-0 victory over England. Robles also came under storm of criticism for grabbing his crutch in a victory just a while the president boxed near Spain's Queen Letizia and her teenage daughter, Princess Sofia. Robles' mother, 
this is the main bit Rublis's mother <laughs> Ag, um, Angeles Be Be Beha or Beja I don't know if you pronounce that name right Angeles Beha um, told the state's news agency EFE she would remain on hunger strike night and day <laughs> at a church in southern Spain until she's called until what she calls the inhumane hounding of her son ends Speaking outside the church in the southern town of Montreal, Rubles' cousin, Vanessa Ruiz, a woman, right, um, joined in his mother in calling her Merso to tell the truth. Her Merso has denied Rubles' claim that she consented to what she called was a mutual kiss during the August 20th ceremony in Sydney, Australia. So this is a crazy update because it just shows you how insane other parts of the world are when they're dealing with these sort of issues. Because in my opinion, this is a pretty simple issue to kind of get right and to sort out really and truly if you think about it it's not that deep of an issue in in not to dismiss what happened but it's not that deep for instance if he genuinely like, again let's give him a let's give him a let's give him the benefit of the doubt if he genuinely thinks he did nothing wrong but the person thinks you did something wrong the recipient of your un what you know unauthorized um unapproved kiss didn't like it it's up to you as a dude it's it's you know it's your responsibility as a dude to kind of own that mistake and say hey hands up i apologize for making you feel that way it wasn't my intention and in this situation just step aside and step down because if you think about it in any other walk of life if you're working in a regular job right and you happen to you know end up try yeah you end up making a move on somebody at the christmas party right and they didn't reciprocate or they didn't like it and they complained you would get fired or most likely if you're well liked or maybe you've got you know whatever connections in the in the company and people have back you they might say hey why don't you resign so that you don't have to kind of you know have to go through the whole internal investigation thing and then when you try and get a new job we have to kind of give them references and give them information about what happened here because i think that's what the whole resigning thing hap happens for right you resign first before we do the internal investigations because then we don't need to divulge any other personal information about you so they're kind of protecting you in that way but I think the honourable, the, not the honourable, but the, the, the kind of grown up thing to do in this situation is to own up to your mistake, say that you did wrong and step aside, especially in this case, because this case is concerning the Spanish football team, the women's football team winning the World Cup. They won the World Cup at the death. I think it was 1-1 against England. They won the World Cup via penalties. It's a big fucking honour to win such a trophy. Massive achievement. And it's all been overshadowed because this guy decided it was a good idea to kiss <laughs> one of the players when they were coming up to get their fucking medals like in my opinion some of the hugs that he was giving some of the girls because if you watch the whole video it's kind of wild i thought some of the hugs were a bit much right the hugs were like he was like the hands were getting dangerously low he was picking some of them up and shit i was like bruh like unless you played with these girls unless you know them intimately from like i don't know coaching them when they were like young even that is still odd but like maybe you have a different maybe you have like a you know an uncle older dad relationship with it fair enough but these girls are all about maybe you know maybe five years younger than you and something like it's just not professional to kind of act that way so i think the hugs are a bit much so him kissing her was obviously over the top but he just refuses to fucking own up to his mistake and now we're in a position where it's just going to keep rumbling on and on and on and on but also credit to the girl involved for just allowing the situation to just you know transpire the way it does because it feels like spain unfortunately are in a place now where they're not really you know they're not really as um, progressive as maybe other parts of the world and i have a feeling if she would have come out and said more or sat down for a long-form interview somewhere there'd be parts of the <clears throat> spanish media spanish press celebrities you know talking heads people that'll be saying look she did it all for attention she wants to be more famous you know what i mean they'd have that kind of fucking crazy rebuttal so i like the fact that she's just letting it breathe and whatever happens happens and it plays out the way it kind of plays out but it's hilarious to see him how he's kind of defending himself because i also think to myself like i wonder i wonder what would happen if fucking brian did the same thing I wonder if Brian approached his cancellation the same way, what would have happened? Because I feel like a lot of these guys got away with it. I feel like a lot of them got away with it because I feel like a lot of them kind of got away with it because they are, you know, they come from wealthy families, they're well-connected and shit. 
you know regular people like you and i if we got accused of rape if we got accused of you know being a pedo on the border of being a pedo right because chris D'Elia's story is funny because i don't think he actually did anything to anybody underage it was more so him contacting girls underage finding out they're underage and then contacting them back when they're not underage <laughs> right which to me is still pedo shit in my opinion but hey what do i know I think any other person that does that sort of shit, you're done, right? You're finished. It's you're never you're never coming back from that thing. But I think those guys kind of got away with it because you know they're wealthy. They can kind of just you know they essentially can survive not working for a while. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, Chris did no podcast, no comedy for like a year. Do you know what I mean no one else can? No one else. I don't think unless you've got savings can actually survive with a year without working. Um, so clearly they kind of can kind of get away with it if you are rich and you're powerful in some respects or well connected in some regards but i wonder i don't think if if brian callen did the same stuff that lewis or approached the same way lewis river said i don't think he'd get in more trouble i think it would have been fine for him i honestly do i think it would have been perfectly fine if callen came out and just was like yeah i raped her you know girls like to be what's callen say like girls have like a what do you say they have like a um, he said something about like women have like a predisposition for like rape or something. It's some weird thing he talks about. He goes on these rants about attraction and whatever. And he always talks about that sort of shit because I think he read it in one book. So <laughs> I think if Callum would have just came out and said, yeah, you know, she enjoyed it. We did a lot of rape play. Now she's turning around saying that she raped her. She's lying. Like if he just would have come out and just said that, I think it wouldn't have made any difference personally. It would, it would probably would have been the same that he's in now um so maybe lewis rubilus will end up being a inspiration for a lot of these guys a lot of these creeps might see his situation and think you know what if i if i just refuse to apologize if i refuse to acknowledge the cancellation attempt and just keep, keep trucking on right and stand exactly and stand 10 toe holds down in my fucking creep behavior i might get away with it you know you might get away with it because this world is so crazy especially if you got the money if you got the bank balance to survive it you might get away with it i swear to god you might um but yeah anyway 